Now, it's the competition that has kept us all guessing for seven weeks now, but on Saturday night, we finally found out Queen Bee's true identity when she was crowned the winner of The Masked Singer. Could it be Margot Robbie? Maybe all actually royalty, like one of the princesses, like Princess Beatrice. Nicola Roberts. Girls allowed. Shirley Bassey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you are the one who makes me feel so good. What am I supposed to do? She's so good. So good. So I think it's Girls Allowed, but which one? I think Kimberly. You're going to go Kimberly Walsh. The winner of The Masked Singer is Queen Bee! <laughs> who is it? Well, utmost respect to you, Nicola, um, for that, not only for the singing the performances, but being able to do it, and I just want to show you, in that so little tiny... tiny... I mean, there's my hand in there. <laughs> so, you know, there's no way my head would ever get in there. I've got quite a big head as well. Yeah? I'm shocked. I, took, I took up all the room. You have a lot of hair. Yeah. But I, I literally, they brought it in, I was like, oh, I was really excited to see it. Picked it up. A, it's heavier than I thought it would be. And that's so tiny. Were you not claustrophobic in there? Yeah, I mean, that where the mouth is there is basically all you can breathe through. Gosh. So you're very much breathing in your own air. How can you sing, then? <laughs> the first dress rehearsal, the first time I sang the song, I sang the Sia song and had the mask on, I'm not going to lie, I did have a wobbler. Kind of got halfway through the song and I just was like... I couldn't breathe, I couldn't get the notes out. And it's a Sia song, the voice is massive. I just walked off and I could hear them all going, Queen Bee's left the stage, Queen Bee's <laughs> left the stage. And I said, guys, it's, this is impossible. Like, I, I, I cannot actually get any air in to sing. So they, you know, the balaclava was like eyes and a mouth and we cut the balaclava out. Then they took the roll neck off, took the gloves off and it, you know, made it a little bit better. But it was the hard. costume, not only that's very small and claustrophobic, but then you've got a, a heavy costume, which is hot. Yeah, and it was like September, so it was still relatively warm outside. Then with the lights and with the audience, and then your own, like when you're nervous, your body temperature rises yes. anyway. So you just felt like you were like a ball of fire. So you must have asked the... yourself that question at some point, like, why did I say yes to this? When, no, when I started doing it, obviously, I just loved to sing. So the fact that I was just being able to sing, like, all my favourite songs was amazing. It was... I had agreed. And then when I saw the costume for the first time, I was like... I looked at my manager and was like... <laughs> Have we done the, is this the right thing to do? But the whole process, I mean, as hard as it was, it was such a positive experience. Let's talk... So does this mean you get to keep the costume from here on? I'd love to keep well, yeah. the Queen Bee always have a place in your, your she heart. Will. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the secrecy, so much secrecy surrounding this show. Yeah. Um, so from day one, you said yes to it. Yeah. So from day one, the secrecy must have been very difficult for you. Yeah. I suppose you can't tell your friends, your family. No one. What about on the set, having all those people, dressing rooms? I mean, the blueprint that production had come up with to keep it such a secret, honestly, was phenomenal. You were never allowed to cross in the corridor with another um, contestant. You had a hoodie on that said, do not speak to me, so no member of crew was allowed to communicate with you. You had a balaclava, you had a visor, you had gloves, so you couldn't even see the skin tone. The, there was a bathroom inside the dressing rooms. The dressing rooms were tiny. You weren't even allowed to open the window in the dressing room in case a member of crew walked So you had no idea who else you were up against? No idea. So I was like, for all I know, I might be the worst one here and I'm, I'm <laughs> going to be gone on the first week. Mm -hmm. um, Did you not go kind of stir-crazy? The week allowed... before the final, I went a bit stir-crazy and I, I left the dressing room and I could hear them, Queen Bee's left the dressing room, Queen Bee's left the dressing room. <laughs> And I went up to a member of production. I was like, can I please just walk around the got like the car park just to get a bit of air? And I could see her about to say, it's not, that's not a good idea. And I was like, I'm gonna rephrase. I am going <laughs> to walk around the car park because I am going to crack. <laughs> and then I just went and breathed all the air in and I went in and I was like, I'm ready. Cut. Yeah. Well, that was the, the tension of everything. But as you say, it was recorded last September, yeah. which meant come the final, you were able to be in the company of friends watching at home. Now, yeah. here we, we've got footage of this. Now. And, and who are you watching with? 
I'm watching Obviously. just with all my closest friends. Um, the girls were there, Cheryl and Kimberly were there. Just my bestest friends. Take it off! Take it off! <laughs> Very good. And amongst your famous friends, now you've got uh, Kimberly's there, so Kimberly and uh, Cheryl's there as yeah. well. And did I see Emma Bunton there? Did I? No, no. Else is no. no just imagine that. <laughs> um, and yeah, we just had dinner, and then I was like, Kimberly was like, she, I mean, I never admitted that it was me, but they knew it was me just because of the voice. And she was like, you can't just sit in by yourself on Saturday and watch the final. <laughs> yeah. Like, you have to. And Enjoy what, it. Yeah. Yeah. What did you make of the other contestants as each week they were being well, on? Because you were so... just finding out at the same time as us. Yeah, but I was just like so happy of the level of talent. Like I'm such a massive Khalees fan. And then CeeLo Green, everyone could really sing. I mean, Pharaoh was slightly wobbly. <laughs> you know, Tree wasn't the best, but the level of talent was... Was Very great, good. yeah. So, what does that mean for you now? Um, you know, post Girls Aloud. I mean, you've you, you would embark on a solo career. You've 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 released solo records, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I did. I released a record like ten years, maybe ten years ago or yeah. something. Um, I was like twenty four when I made it, and it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed making a body of work and being able to throw a load of creativity into it. I'm just about to go into a play um, called City of Angels, which. I was going to try and um, have a few things working alongside the play, but I didn't, you know, I underestimated how much work the play actually is. And Josie Rourke, the director, is the most incredible director and the talent within the play. I kind of just have to honour the fact that they've cast me and give everything to the play. And then, I mean, after the play, I'd love to then create a record and... Because you write for that. other yeah. artists, don't you? I'd been writing for other artists mm. for such a long time and then this came along and I was just like, oh, maybe it'd be nice just to sing for me again for, for yeah. a bit. Yeah, and it's nice that people see you in that way. They, they, pe people will re-examine you and who you are and what you can actually do. Well, that was the nice thing about the mask, yeah. is that there's no... A little bit like the voice, you know? There's no, like, preconceived yeah. judgement. You're not on there thinking... Is my hair okay? Mm. Do people like my hair? Do I look outfit? like a pop star? I'm so pale under every light. I'm a, di I'm a different tone. It's like, mm. there's just none of that. And I just could sing. And it was like such a freeing experience. Um, okay, so now you're on your own. Would you ever be tempted to go back to, you know, Girls Aloud and that sort of format? You're two years away from a 20th anniversary. Mm. Would that be a possibility? I mean, yeah, two years away from an anniversary, 2022. I would love to get back with the girls and us put on a big show and just put it on for the fans, really. And that was our favourite thing to do, was to, to do a show. So I think that we just have to cross that bridge when the anniversary comes mm. and see where we're all at. Well, we'd all love to see that. We would love to see that. But in the meantime, congratulations. Thank it's you. a great achievement. And we can wait to find out who Queen Bee and was. And it's great you're enjoying it. And yeah, it was so funny at home watching everyone guess. <laughs> <laughs>